Lady Shiva is strong enough to one arm toss you that far. That's a DC human for you. She's a female that can lift up grown behind men with one arm. She's skilled enough to fight Catwoman and send her flying like that all the way out. Oh yeah, Black Canary, you're not safe either. Fights her as well while tossing Catwoman to the side. When it comes to fighting speed, competent with Bat family members. And if you're not a Bat family member, she would just straight up blitz you and kick your mask off like that. Notice how they was wearing like flying devices. That didn't matter. She literally jumps off and kicks them like that. Made Nightwing sleepy with a kick. She knows she's so raw. She's like waiting for defeat. She said, will you be the one warrior to defeat me in this battle? With this great warrior known as Connor Hall, even praising her opponent for giving her a good fight. He even says, I'm starting to resent your attitude. She loves to fight worthy adversaries. Seems to be a worthy foe, though. She does have some bleeding action going on, at least. And this is how the fight wound it up. Good fight, but she ended up getting the better of him, I would say. She basically said, it's an honor that you drew Lady Shiva's blood. Notice how Shiva is taken in high regard in this kind of hawk situation. You came as close to a win as anyone ever has. They even asked, he beat Shiva? He said, not exactly. Wow. Like, they're looking shocked, like, whoa, he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shiva? Let you know her reputation. It was such a big deal about Connor Hall. It says, what happened here tonight will move through the martial arts underground like a lightning. You're in the number two slot behind Shiva when it comes to fighters. Anyone who wants to take her on will try you first. The guy, Connor Hawk, that fought Lady Shiva, says, I took Shiva to a standstill once. I can take you. Dragon says, luck. But it is noted he is the best empty hand fighter I've seen next to Shiva. She has fast enough fighting speed to literally kick arrows out the air. Literally fought a bunch of ninjas. It's like she's like a boss fighting a whole bunch of minion waves. Looking like dang girl. Uses this technique called the leopard blow. Yes, that's a yike. She killed two of the circle of six because she's just that awesome right there showing her speed and competence, kicking power, drawing blood. The circle of six is six martial artists gathered by Lady Shiva to do her bidding herself and she can just murk them. So in they're not on her level and it kind of shows how ruthless she is too she even took on a young richard dragon one of the best fighters in dc as well showing her competent she gave him respect though she said we will meet again she's fought great fighters like katana and stood her ground this is the same katana katana is fast enough to deflect bullets mid-flight like you see them shooting She's literally standing there deflecting them, but that doesn't stop Lady Shiva's fighting speed to be able to keep up with her despite Katana having this level of fighting speed, landing clean blows on her, bloodying her, and getting the advantage over Katana. This proves that Lady Shiva's fighting speed has to be faster than bullets, but to keep up with beings like Katana, Batman, and Oracle even talk about how Cassandra Kane facing on Lady Shiva is an L, and she has a death wish if she wants to fight Shiva. Literally says, we agree she has a death wish. We agree facing Shiva fulfills that wish. <laughs> they even state, but maybe she thinks she can win. No, she knows Shiva will win. They explain that you have to know how good Shiva is when you read body language as good as Cassandra. She knows what Shiva is capable of, every detail, every nuance, and her perfect technique. They even state, that girl could watch Shiva stand still and know she'd lose the fight. Stated Shiva is the best. Shiva has spent her life killing the best fighters in the world. She'll take you on too. When they want to put this theory to the test, fight Shiva. Shiva parries Cassandra. Look at their blows doing and stuff to the environment. Shiva literally kills Cassandra Kane Because of skills, she was able to bring her back. She has knowledge on helping her replenish her strength. Not to mention Lady Shiva's daughter can literally look at bullets mid-flight and dodge them. It's not an inconsistency or outlier for Lady Shiva to be able to react to stuff this fast. Just a common DC trope. She walked away from Katana while she was defeated. Oh yeah, it's more than once too. She does get a rematch. She even says, have you gotten our first battle? This is our second. Doesn't matter much. Still sticks her here. She tries to willpower her way out of it, but it seems that it doesn't go well. Yeah, lethal blow. She fought Huntress, treats her kind of like a joke, she literally parries everything she throws at her in the counter. Shiva makes some of the best fighters look like amateurs. If you didn't know any better, you would think these people are scrubs that she's beaten down. Characters like Huntress are still really skilled. Shiva has to have some respect for Huntress. She said, I give you the name of Iron Owl Huntress. I mean, after all, Huntress has taken on Barbara Gordon Batgirl before. It kind of shows curb stomping her isn't no easy feat, but Lady Shiva still made her seem like a joke, kind of. She's even fought metahuman tears like Killer Croc. Fought him with one hand tied behind her back. She has so much fighting on her. Croc's broken arm, she wanted it to be fair. So she said she'll only use one hand. This is just insanity. She's legit having a fight with Killer Croc using only one arm. But luckily she still has two legs that she can use as lethal weapons. I like the fact that she doesn't seem worried considering how much stronger he is than her. She continues to honor her word. She has her arm behind her back. It takes a while for his body to register pain it seems. Struck him thrice. Each blow resulted in an injury to your person. 
fractured on the leg, commuted on the other, and your remaining arm. She even roasts him and says he needs training. She's not even taking him seriously. And there you have it. This is the result. Killer Croc got body. She has such knowledge on nerves. She took away the pain using her nerve shenanigan skills or whatever. She was feeling some pain, but she got rid of it. She says she only used her skills for torture, remember? The fact she only used her skills for torture, but yet she took the time to do this to her neck, saw her potential. She likes getting underlings or apprentices. Getting the drop on her won't work because she can still dodge and react and kick you. And biting fingers off? Okay. The deadliest woman to ever live. Her name is Sandra, one of the deadliest martial artists on planet Earth, Sandra Wusan. She grew up bouncing between terrible places to live, becoming progressively more terrifying and powerful throughout the time. Her goal is to further advance martial arts as a whole and to pass her abilities on to the next generation. A lot of knowledge she does have, wouldn't you agree? Throughout the years, she's been associated with the League of Assassins, the Bat Family, the Question, and even the Birds of Prey. Trying to catch her off guard won't work. She's just aware of her surroundings. She will test herself even when she's fighting you, so she can see what she can prove upon. She even fought the question and beat him down. <laughs> Back to this, even testing the question, also testing herself. She talks intricately about what she would do to you. Ever touch me again, I shall shatter three bones in your arm. Then proceeds to stating the said thing she's going to mess up. She will shatter them in a way causing intense pain. No Western doctor will be able to repair them, she said. She also trained under O Sensei, my two most accomplished pupils, he said. Prometheus disagrees though. He calls her the third best or deadliest fighter there is. Getting training under O Sensei is a big deal considering that Richard Dragon and Bronze Tiger also trained under this same amazing martial artist. This is more lore on right intent on why she's so raw at fighting. She keeps a list of the top tier greatest fighters known and when she hears they died she needs to verify the passing herself especially if they don't die by her hand warrior mentality right she's confident about her skills she said you can't make me leave tracking down cheshire in this particular occasion to talk crap you are not quite my equal yet love the cocky and confidence <laughs> she says death is a little afraid of her these guys are basically like a workout chop to the back of the head easy work yeah black canary and lady she would be hanging out a lot stated here to be an honor stated to be the most dangerous warrior on the planet holds him in a lock attack from behind she still intercepts and dodges hanging out with shiva it actually made black canary a higher rank when it comes to martial arts raising her level just hanging out with shiva a lot an armed sensei she fights counters you need both your arms to fight her buddy she's too raw bro if she's in a good mood she might not kill her sparring partners remember these guys i brought up early how she punched his mask she kind of eliminated the threat kind of easily in a phone call her daughter has actually attempted to kill her and hang her on a hook you're not allowed to eat or she would just straight up and punch you and tell you you're a fool. God dang, she, she learns a dozen new disciplines in a year. She improves so much year by year that a year from now, her present self will be discarded a year later. Her in 2022 is going to be leagues better than her in 2021. So if you beat her in 2018 and it's 2022 now, that ain't really no accomplishment because in 2022, she's like a whole new fighter, if that makes sense, right? Kind of like on some Goku stuff. She's not impressed with Azrael's fighting. He says, nice technique, but she says, sloppy, not impressed. She's just so unpleased, bruh excellent terrible she says the exact opposite of people's fighting skills when others are impressed might i add that she has, has tussled with richard dragon on this occasion respect the combat long battles with richard dragon i can totally respect it richard dragon some noticeable advantages cool right the leopard blow is indeed her signature literally stated no one sees it and lives this occasion i already showed it kind of shows she can use melee weapons as well if she wants to like Sai. she can use swords if she has to this is an awesome area to store shiva shurikens though throwing stars at the tire forever landing combo on her opponent very good with sword multiple and different sword duel cool kate knocks the sword out of his hand trying to locate who the killers are she can recognize their swordsmanship and recognize them as members of the league of assassins when it comes to her fighting speed a whole bunch of knives come at her she hits individual knives chopping away with her fighting speed and you guys that are trying to gang up on her you get kicked to the gut punch combo elbow chop i'm gonna go back to this guy oh sensei the fact that she got trained by this guy more proof on why this is incredible He's literally a disciple, all martial arts, karate, jujitsu, aikido. She's got training from people like that. Look at all the weapons in the background. Put two and two together. Oh yeah, you remember that Killer Croc incident? Don't forget that Killer Croc is strong enough to flip cars, send this moderately sized gator flying, lifted several of these wooden crates. Yeah, he's that strong. Look at the size of it. Killer Croc even tore and lifted up a bank vault door. 
And if you go to Wikipedia, a bank vault door can weigh 22 short tons. Killer Croc can literally lift up a thousand pound characters like Solomon Grundy, yet Shiva did this to Killer Croc like I showed earlier in the vid, while she was only using one of her own arms. And I would say she's decently above Catwoman. Lady Shiva has gotten full-blown fights with her daughter, Cassandra Kane Batgirl, they go at it, kind of shows her family line potential, and she's fast enough in combat to fight a being that can literally stare down bullets. Like I showed earlier in this vid, her daughter is that fast, they kind of stalemate, they fought here as well. Shiva versus her daughter, fighting skill, speed, technique, and all that sort. She got the better of her here, though. It seemed this the part that was referenced early in this vid about the little hook thing. How <laughs> you see, and you can see the little hook she referenced. Now that reference makes more sense. Now, doesn't it? This is totally a rarity when it comes to Shiva losing the fight. I let you know how the skill of Cassandra Kane. I have a video about Cassandra Kane on the channel as well. Lady Shiva takes out some goons. Notice how they stay everything's in slow motion. Taking out these goons, Shiva's combat speed, ribs crushed, splinters slicing his organs, jaw skull separated, brain swelling, showing Shiva is just the overall insane fighter stated to be the best in the world stated oh she's fast look at the little blur effect right here you can tell the writers intend for her to have some crazy speed disarming is no issue either goes on the fight cassandra in this occasion dodging and parrying stated she's reading me predicting predicting moves was my defense she loves them nerve cluster strike paralyzed neck down cheap stated kill shot she's defenseless sleep time shows how much shiva loves the fight she did all that stuff beating up up them bodyguards she, she can have her fight in her it should be noted in this particular instance it's implied that cassandra kane's defenses wasn't as good as it usually would be shiva even notices it too saying your defense is pitiful and keeping up with her own dart is insane because this is what she can do when it comes to fighting speed showing that she has to have this level of fighting speed as well she even taught robin how to fight using the bow staff making robin one of the best bow staff users in comics tim drake robin that is training him getting the snot beat out of him too showing that she's above his level currently right here robin even says he's never been in a fight with the artist not until now he states she's faster than anyone he's ever seen maybe faster than, than batman she, he says she was a beast calling her faster than batman is a big deal considering that batman literally stated that bullets are slow motion to him and that he can pluck them out of the air this says a lot about her speed training him in depth to the point where he started getting better landing some solid blows showing that she likes teaching her skills even though he got the advantage here <laughs> even tim knows oh next time she's gonna have me for lunch that's your butt next time <laughs> their morals really conflict when it comes to the killing rule though you know robin under batman's tutelage ain't having that hit killing stuff she's pretty much adept with every weapon the fact that she gave him the option to choose any of these weapons she must have some great knowledge on all of this for her to even have the nerve to teach somebody how to use some bows and arrows swords daggers samurai swords it's all kind of stuff up here even shurikens like she just adapted it all also implied here on the wall with the weapons you know there was even a time where bruce wayne was injured and he had to get retrained by lady shiva all over again to become a peak of human perfection type human obviously shiva got the advantage because the simple fact that batman's injured here her freaking legendary leopard blow though causes death with a single strike notice this thing right here with the leopard blow she can shatter stuff that she technically shouldn't be able to do because of striking power then there's the time she was getting mind controlled by gorilla gride in this case with batman lady shiva one of my favorite moments because this actually was in an animated movie and it looked just like the comic too Shiva took an L to Batman here, but I would say this is mainly because Grodd was controlling her and she wasn't in her right mind, taking her out with one punch here. I'm not saying it's impossible for Shiva to lose to Batman anyway, but I wouldn't take this too seriously, but it still should be a showing of her skill because she still was implied to show some fighting skills like this kid, these slick type techniques here and there. She's easily a threat for Batman to you. Taking full-blown punches from Batman himself. Batman states he didn't even see that sidekick coming. Batman says she easily got the hitting power of Razo Ghoul and the speed of the Jilly of the Sensei. I suddenly realized I've got a real fight on his hands. Even says if he doesn't start taking this lady seriously, he could be dead. She seems to like fighting with Batman. Another occasion of her getting the advantage over Richard Dragon. Yep, you've seen this correctly. They take out this many people. Her and Richard Dragon fighting together with sword. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all get murked. Did these cops really think they was had a chance against Shiva? Black Canary states that Shiva remakes her fight the way she wants it to be, basically controlling the fight, explaining how ruthless Shiva's training can be. She learned to not miss a block. She was a wonderful teacher. 
If I missed a block, she would hit me twice as hard next time, stopping just short of breaking bone and tearing cartilage. And oh yeah, Lady Shiva is also in the new 52, and she's still deadly as always. She's very skilled in torture, rigs a speedboat as a trap to run on autopilot as a distraction. She trained Jason Todd for six weeks. Consistent Bat Family Association's right. Lifts up Cassandra came in one arm here, showing that she ain't normal physically. It's just little stuff like this that lets you know that she's ain't normal, despite her not technically having no superpowers. She covers her tracks really good. There's no information on her anywhere disguises herself as a homeless person to get the drop on a target these are different weapons she uses can catch jason todd off guard using swords and blades she got kicked in the face by batman can keep on fighting though jason todd's helmet exploding she still survived this insane pain tolerance even after getting her arm broken she doesn't seem to be yelling all that hard and pain wise showing she's used to injuries of this set lured batman into a trap on this occasion she uses different weapons like the Kurisagami, hitting Nightwing. Headshots a lot of man bats with shuriken throws. Yes, she uses shurikens. She fought Nightwing on this occasion, but due to Nightwing being injured, she doesn't like things being unhonorable or unfair. She kind of backs all, even though the fight is still entertaining as heck in the process. She acknowledges his skills though. It literally states here, subconsciously guarding his ribs, injury from a previous battle. He said, what difference does that make? She says, that makes a lot of difference. I don't want to fight you at a disadvantage, basically. She says, I do not waste my skills. You have shown much to this day. She defeated a young still in training, Dick Grayson, in one time, showing her superiority. She's one of the people to fight the entitled, who are immortal super type of being. Got the drop on elongated man ventriloquist and Black Alice, who briefly had Cheetah's power. How do you get this skill to fight super beings sheba of the league of assassins like she literally looks like cheetah elongated man night night officers literally tried to fight sheba really guys literally blitzed them before they can react shoot she reacts to the bullet yeah you better run she's two beasts for you she fought strix catman and batgirl like yes they fight her blitz her she's reacting to them all pins them to the ground respect oh we just want to act like she didn't deflect all of her batarangs with her reflexes showing her staff combat she fought another great fighter but still cool occasion of stuff like this you can literally see that she's battle damaged despite all this she still tries to fight she night night though infiltrated a military base and slaughtered 43 soldier while unarmed she kills a group of armed soldier in like 10 freaking seconds oh yeah even in recent stuff cassandra kane and shiva has fought night night stated your entire nervous system is shutting down you'll pass out in 30 seconds oh what a surprise fighting cassandra kane again showing why lady shiva is the mama night night sleepy time she fought multiple bat family members at the same time bat woman bat wing this is insane even though the bat family members are injured i guess I mean, she led an army of man bats before while riding on one of them. She's fought Batman, kind of getting an advantage over Batman. Hard to get a drop on her. She will straight up torture you, no matter who you are, even if you are Gotham's mayor. Even Cassandra looks upon how raw she is. These fights between her and her daughter would be epic in animation, I'm not going to lie. It's suggested that not even Ra's al Ghul knows how to beat her. Although she did get advantage over Batman in these occasions, she does mention that she would love a proper fight with Batman, not this trickery. She went to kind to remember. Remember, this is one of the few times that she even Cassandra Kane fought after a drawn out fight. Cassandra seems to get the clear advantage over Lady Shiva's chilling with Black Lightning here, of course, showing her knife throwing skills, kills some mercenaries, hitting the back of the neck. Cassandra Kane and Shiva fight again. It's a pattern at this point in this vid. Ha! Shiva alongside Black Lightning. Look at that stance. Go on. Take on this being known as Ishmael, who, thanks to the Lazarus Pit, doesn't feel any pain. Another scuffle with Cassandra Kane. And folks think Shiva is attractive. Raz al Ghul was cleaning house of people that was no longer useful anymore, like stating outlived his utility. Stated, it seems leaving his side was wise. Shiva says, it don't matter if I would have left his side or not. She wouldn't have got murked like these people got murked anyway. Because she was just that raw. No matter which era, she's always fighting characters like Katana. Who's a great warrior in her own right too. No matter which era. They be having like these little friendly sparring or fighting sessions. Because fighting is awesome. Or just loves any excuse to fight. This arms dealer thought she could beat Shiva just because he got some powered up arm. These arms. It pretty much doesn't matter. Even though her daughter and her be fighting all the time, she's still an object. She's a beast and proud of her. Penguin has respect for Lady Shiva, saying, an elite assassin who gives nightmares to even the sickest psychopath, Lady Shiva, stated she may be the deadliest hitter in the business 
an assassin feud around the world. Cheshire considers herself number two, not above Shiva. Characters like Strix acknowledge that Shiva let them live. I mean, characters like Catwoman are consistently below Shiva, hitting multiple blows on Catwoman and finished her with ease. Check out the parrying, and Catwoman is usually beating up grown behind men easily, but Shiva is no ordinary. I brought this up earlier, but I just like the fact that Raz al Ghul tried to get her to comply through like ganging up on her with force with all these soldiers. She just kind of welcomed the effort. In 10 seconds, she bited them. They wasn't ready. Expert at nearly every type of traditional weapon. Her hair is weaponized with a blade. Lady Shiva has the skill to read fighting styles like a freaking language. Just like when Nightwing had a disguise, she instantly recognized them. They state she's even capable of defeating Batman. And she is a master in every known martial art, even a few that have been lost to history. She is an expert at reading her opponent's body language to work out their weak spot. Because of her skills, she can read body language to predict the opponent's next strike or when they will strike. She can control her body so that she feels no physical pain. Stated yet again, she has mastered every known and forgotten martial art. She holds a grudge and respect for Earth's heroes. She has reluctantly trained many of them and continues to monitor them for weaknesses. Back in the day type stuff, this is before New 52 and stuff, she's always been a consistent threat for Batman, just in any time period. Even in old comics, they stated yet again, Lady Shiva is a master of virtually every known and several forgotten martial arts disciplines and will stop at nothing to become the world's best and most lethal fighter. You can't really disrespect her after this. She's definitely one of the greatest fighters in DC, period. A lot of writer intent lore, feats to back it up, fighting speed, she's in that super soldier ranges, strength-wise, strength Striking power-wise, she's comparable to characters like Batman and physicals and things of that such. She's the epitome of a DC character with no powers, but can still fight legions of people at the same time, curb stopping them all in the process, being leagues faster than them in fighting speed, consistently above characters like Catwoman, and can read your body language to predict your next move, and she can do hits that's hard to telegraph even for Batman. Is there anything you learned about Lady Shiva New? Did you know she was this strong? Did you know she was this fast reaction time wise? Did you know she was this lethal compared to some of the best fighters like Red Hood, even Batman himself, even training Batman, even training Robin, and even Black Canary? But that's none of my business. Maybe the live action stuff can portray her to be a threat like this possibly in the future, but who really knows? But I'll see you guys later. Respect Lady Shiva.